going on beautiful people I hope you guys are doing fabulous I know a lot of you are detoxing right now or you may just be finding my channel and you may be new to this and uh, I'm just here to like welcome you guys and it's what I'm doing is just sharing my own personal experience and that's what I'm doing today um, I've kind of come a long way to get to this point so I'm not one of those that just accepted raw foods right away. In fact, I kind of pushed it. I didn't really push it away, but I didn't. I wasn't ready for this information. And uh, today, I just want to share with you my experience, my menstrual cycle, my period, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> uh, how it's completely changed, and it's changed for the better. So. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with my story, I'm just going to tap a bit into my past because that's important to show you how I got to this point. So I came off the standard American diet, of standard Canadian diet of eggs, heavy meat, heavy processed food, heavy junk food. You guys know the story. Lots of meat, lots of dairy. And uh, my health just really, really declined. Um, I was, actually as soon as I was born like I remember 14 years old I had so much acne and my skin just was terrible and from there I you know got into a lot of booze alcohol I got into lots of medication to try to you know take away these symptoms and they always came back and they came back worse and I'd get them in other areas and I've had ovarian cysts, I've been diagnosed with endometriosis, abnormal cells, um, skin cancer, so it just, my health issues just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And I eventually got on to a vegan lifestyle, and then I kind of got pulled back into eating dairy, and um, the reason I went back is um, when I was vegan, I was eating, I was consuming a lot of soy and just processed food. Um, you know, even though you're a vegan, you can still get tied in with the processed food, the junk food. Even a lot of the, you know, even the mock meats are great for transitioning, but they do have a lot of like oil and, and whatnot. So I, um, you know, got pulled back and forth of, of what, what am I supposed to eat? And maybe I do need some yogurt. Maybe I need to eat that dairy, the probiotics. And so I got kind of pulled back into that, eating lots of dairy and and I got ovarian cysts. I got pockets full of mucus and that actually, I want to talk about two things that I think contributed to my ovarian cysts. And that was the soy and the dairy. So soy, uh, I thought I could handle eating soy and it's, you know, it's okay and it's a plant-based protein and I started consuming lots and lots of soy and soy isolate too. There's a lot of uh, energy bars out there that contain soy isolate and so I was just consuming a lot of this thinking I need all this and I uh, kind of got lost in that world for a bit but I needed to because it just led me to this point in understanding the human body and the human body is really just a self healing vessel if given the right nutrition so when I started consuming lots of soy and dairy I just felt pain and my my period was hor horrible you guys just awful I was taking lots I was taking probably four Advils um, during that week and I just I just knew like something wasn't right here and I had way worse pain than ever before and if I could you know, if I had, there was a scale of like 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain, mine was like 11. The pain was just unbearable, just horrible, horrible cramps to the point where I'd call in sick to work and I'd just have a hard time going out because I was in so much pain. And I knew something wasn't right here. It was never that, that severe before. So I started analyzing what am I doing? What's, what am I consuming that could be causing this? Of course, I went back to the doctors and they said nothing to do with what you're doing this is you know genetics I thought no I, I just I never had it this bad 
And it wasn't until I started really consuming the soy and the, and the yogurts and the dairy that it just, the pain was unbearable every month. So it was just the worst pain, you guys. Um, I just can't even just, it, it was awful, awful. So for a lot of you women out there that have, you know, horrible menstrual cycles, whether that is, you know, you got a lot of bleeding, you, you it goes on for longer than a week, you have horrible pain, you know, this video is um, my testimony and hopefully you can, you know, get something from this video to help you. So I started taking out soy, I started taking out dairy and I didn't need as many Advils per month. And I noticed a huge difference just by cleaning up my diet and just by eating more whole foods, um, whole food plant-based. But yeah, I took out the soy, I took out the dairy and I really just tried to clean up my diet and I noticed huge improvements and the pain wasn't as bad. I'd maybe have to take, you know, and, and I don't like taking medication, uh, but I had to. So I took, um, maybe took like one Advil after taking soy and dairy out, um, one Advil a day, which is like still not the greatest, right? I still didn't like taking the medication. I knew the, the um, you know, Advil and all these, uh, medications they can be hard on your stomach and so then I started getting into raw foods and I started looking into the power of giving your body raw living enzymes uh, full of antioxidants and when I started getting into the raw foods I started doing some detoxes with grapes and lemons and melons and just started kind of cleaning up my body I've now come to the point you guys where I don't have any pain and that is unbelievable for me to say I don't have any pain now that I've started cleaning out my vessel and this really only makes sense because when the body isn't clean and the body is getting ready to house a baby it wants that environment to be clean so it'll do what it can to, to push out some of these acids, some of these toxins that we may have consumed from dairy, meat, processed food, junk food. The body really wants to have a clean environment to house this baby. And if it's not clean, it's going to, you know, cause inflammation. It's going to cause pain. It's going to try to, you know, release, push out some of these acids. And it can be very, very painful. So when I just started cleaning up my vessel, I realized, wow, the power of food and what it can do when you just start giving the body nutrition, you start overdosing on minerals, vitamins and minerals from your fruits and your vegetables and your leafy greens. And uh, you know, some, some may ask like, did I, did I lose my period? And no, I didn't. Um, it became, definitely has become lighter. And that's the way I think it, um, for me, uh, I don't, I, I had, you know, the, this may, this may be too much information, but this is my channel to share with you guys. Like it was like heavy the first couple days and just like the blood was just kind of like clotty and just, it just did not look right. Now it's like, you can tell it's like the blood looks really clean and it's, there's no pain. I don't have to use any medication before and I started going into taking ginger shots just to avoid the medication and that helped um, so if you maybe have just a little bit of pain you can uh, do throw some ginger in your juices or just do a ginger shot and that has been shown to be even um, just as effective as some of these medications out there so I was doing that but now I don't even need ginger uh, with you know go bringing in the raw living food and this is what it's all about for me. It's just about cleaning up these areas, especially with the endometriosis, the ovarian cysts. It's really just about taking out this inflammation and going on an anti-inflammatory diet. So that's where alkaline foods are really, really beneficial for you. Um, because with eating acid foods from alcohol, uh, you know whether you've consumed a lot of medications in your past, the dairy, very mucus forming, and, and then the heavy meats. That's, we're not giving our body any alkaline foods to kind of help clean out these acids. So I really, I really um, advocate uh, alkaline diet, whole foods from nature. And when we start giving our body lots of fresh juices, lots of fresh fruits, 
uh, this is what's gonna really help clean out these areas because the fruit is hydrating, it's electrical, so we're gonna also start eliminating um, through our bowels, which is really good. We need that electrical power to clean up our colon and clean up these areas that have been compacted with say white flour and and all these kind of processed foods, junk food, fast food. It's just really wreaking havoc on our bowels and the whole body is connected. So if you are constipated, if you have, you know, ovarian cysts, endometriosis, this is really a sign that we need to kind of, you know, start cleaning up our vessel, our house. And uh, for me, having no pain, I w you know, I'd do anything to just have no pain during that week. And it's amazing that it's, I've come this far, but I had to, uh, to realize truth and that the, the body really wants a clean environment and it won't have to work as hard. I guess I'm talking too much, my video just shut off, but basically to sum it up, the, when the body's clean, it won't have to work as hard and you know to clean up these areas so once you start giving the body fresh fruits vegetables um, juicing your body is just going to naturally start cleaning up and eliminating these cysts these the mucus and it's just we kind of almost have to just step out of the way and just realize that the body is is very intelligent and we have just kind of got off track a lot of us and uh, it, it stems from you know what we have been taught through listening to other people through you know conditioning advertisements there's a whole lot of um, you know uh, just we got way off track and far from nature and when we start giving the body natural whole foods from nature then the body can start working as it should and all of our glands all of these areas the uterus our ovaries can now start you know working as it should once it becomes clean so for me it's just there's no that's priceless to not have pain to not have in inflammation to not have these cysts that are so painful and for a lot of women, when you have endometriosis, when you have um, you know inflammation in that area, it can also affect other areas of your life, and you know even well we can do more videos on talking about like sexual, um, you know, having these intimate moments and having pain there. It's not it just it affects so many things. It can affect your relationship. It can affect. Uh, your work if you're always missing time from work and just day to day you're spending money on all this medication and not realizing what's going on here uh, there is a huge relationship with pain and the food that you're bringing in every day uh, is this is this food gonna be acidic in the body is it gonna cause inflammation and the food that you eat every day is is your medicine basically so what you do that month before your cycle is going to have a major impact on uterus. Just cleaning up your my vessel, it, it's it's been amazing. And yeah, there's ups and downs through detoxing and through cleansing the body. You're going to have some maybe some healing crisis, but for me, it was all worth it to not have any pain every month. And uh, of course, exercise is important too, you know, sweating, moving the body to help eliminate these toxins. That's so important as well. But just to not take any medication, for me, that's huge. And I just feel good. It feels good to feel good. Um, it just, not have, to not have any pain and miss, you know, be, I used to spend so much that week in bed, basically, and losing time and energy and trying to figure out what's going on here. So for me, raw food has really, really helped. And if you can't do raw, like 100% raw, that's okay. But if you really want to get rid of this pain, then I would focus on bringing in lots of grapes, lots of berries, doing some juicing, uh, the, you know, bringing in lots of green juices, vegetable juices. Of course, like for me, the fruit is like number one, um, just because I had 
so much mucus pulling out from doing some grape detoxes, watermelon, all these wonderful fruits. And now that we're coming into springtime, it's going to be really good because the strawberries and the berries are so beneficial for your ovaries and your that whole area, uh, your bladder too. So for me, it's really about bringing in clean alkaline foods so that you don't have to be in pain and in bed for a week and taking all these medications. And so really it's about helping the body by just giving it clean food and the body will not have to work hard to get clean. So hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you're suffering, if you're in pain, you want to get off medications and you don't want to be, you know, um, have the heavy bleeding and, and all that stuff. It can be very hard. Um, it can be, it can affect your whole life. And I've been there. I know how, like, I've been in this just excruciating pain. And, uh, and I, you know, wouldn't want that anyone to have that. So this video is for you guys and a lot more to come. So hope this helps you out and stay tuned for more content. As always, be alkaline, be yourself, and be getting in some raw food today. Cheers.